My name's Brendan Weimholt. Everybody knows me as Wimey. I spent a few years after high school just tooling around. I wasn't really going anywhere though. My brother at the time was in the military and he said, you know, there's two things you want to be in the military, either be a pilot or be a Navy SEAL. And I didn't want to go be a pilot. I didn't want to spend any more time in school. So I'm like, all right, I'll check out this, this Navy SEAL thing. I was accepted and I went to Bud's. It's tough, um, hell week, carrying boats and 200 pound logs and whatnot. But there's an idea that your life is on the line and the guy next to you is, is gonna save you if, if it comes to that. With as many ops as we do, they do kind of blend together, especially if you're doing them day in, day out. The ones where teammates get injured or are killed, that's probably one of the roughest things that you can go through is, is being in a, a responsibility role and having things not go the way they should go. I guess the biggest thing is it makes you second guess. And, that, and that's a bad thing. If you second guess yourself the whole time, you're done for. And it started to happen, I won't lie. It did start to happen, particularly on a few ops. It was so rough and I was trying to get away from it. So I went out in the back of the Kandahar base and just started pounding on steel just to get those frustrations out. I don't even think I was looking for something in the back of the base, but whatever I found, you know, struck an idea quickly in my head of, let me smash this to get some aggression out. And then after the aggression was out, I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? What if I smash it into a knife? So around 2012, I realized coming back from that deployment that I wanted to make knives and I looked up a blacksmith guild in San Diego and I used to go there you know every Saturday and as I got better in bladesmithing I realized that my job as a Navy SEAL was getting less and less and there's only so much of that job that you can take it ruins bodies you know if you go out the door like that downrange for 20 years straight something's gonna happen to you more than that I think your mind takes a hell of a lot more beating than, than most bodies. Bodies are beat up, so that should give you some idea on how messed up some of the minds are. I went through quite a lot of therapy the last couple of years. I was in Balboa a ton, bringing issues up again so that I can work through them. I don't, I don't think about any of that stuff when I'm working on, when I'm working on knives. It takes my mind off of whatever's ailing me at the time. I can come in this shop, I can turn on a grinder. I don't have a care in the world. All I'm focused on is the shape, the geometry, the feel, and I'm always thinking of how to progress uh, beyond my ability right now. The point at which the knife comes off hand sanding, buffing, and you can look at a finished product and go, I made that. I made that from start to finish and look how nice it is. Look how beautiful it is, you know? That's, that's an amazing thing to see from start to finish, the whole process. I took a lot of training to get to the point where I was excellent at my job, you know, at, at 10, 15, 18 years in, I was damn good at what I did. And it's probably gonna take that many years to get damn good at bladesmithing. I don't ship out a lot of knives and I, I don't really care to. I just want the quality of the knives that I do ship out to be second to none.